Hello again everyone, welcome to another Transformers review with me, Graham, also known as The Collector 75. Um, now then, for today's review, I thought I'd do a figure that um, uh, I thought about doing about a month ago, and then I thought, well, I don't know what box is in to be honest, and then um, about a week ago I actually found the box just by off the off chance, and I thought, yeah, I'll do that because I quite liked it. Um, right, let me bring on the box, let me just show you this quickly, because we are doing uh, Energon Wingsaber. Um, I'm not quite sure if his name was Wing Saber in the actual Energon, because this is the Japanese one, of course. Um, here we go, so this is his box. Uh, not a bad figure, really, but then again, it does have its limitations, unfortunately. Like a lot of the Energon figures, I was a bit disappointed with them, actually. And this series, in fact, this is where I really stopped trying, well, buying um, quite a lot of Transformers. Um, let me just bring on Wing Saber himself. This is him. Yeah, let me just show you this while I'm talking. Um, yeah, I stopped buying them because um, up until this point, especially like through Armada and that, I did try and buy nearly every Transformer that came out, um, which led me into a lot of debt and stuff like that, um, which I wasn't too pleased about at the time. But then I started to realise that the figures, to be honest, were not all that great. I mean, you get a couple of good ones, but on the whole, a lot of them were disappointing, to be honest. And then I just started to buy figures that I liked or I could get cheaply. Um... And like I say, with the, with this series, um, this is where I stopped and just put, picked up the odd figures. Um, like I say, I don't have every Energon figure, but I only got the ones that I liked. Um, now then, I liked the look of this guy, but he does have his limitations, unfortunately. Um, but that is because he is a compromise, and I'll come to that um, soon. Anyway, right, this is his vehicle mode, which is some kind of Cybertronian stealth bomber jet type spaceship thing. Um, he's got a lot of detail in on him. Um, so if we get a close up here, there you can see he's got a very stealth bomberish cockpit there at the front there. Um, he's got these like turbines going on for him at the back uh, there. Like, I don't know if you can really pick that out at all. Anyway, then we come around to the back, and this is obviously where the jet thrusters are. But then he's got all this it's a strange kibble just hanging around, which is strange. Um, which even worse, if you look at the front, see this is his landing gear. Let me just flip up his landing gear. We've got that one there. And he's got these two little wheels at the side here and here. And there we go. So we flip them in. Now then, he's just a, like a right angle, basically, because I don't know if we're going to pick this out too well. Um, he just starts here, and then he's got this massive chunk all the way along here. Not very aerodynamic at all, and just looks rather, well, rather a bit sheer, unfortunately. But if you get past that, I mean, you don't look too bad. You know, he's got his guns at the side here and everything. He's got these guns at the front here. Um, I've got one of his missiles, the other one is still in the box, unfortunately, I've just got this one out especially. We're going to see how this fires, because I've never put the missiles in here at all, so I don't know how powerful these are, but we're going to have a go. Oh, yeah, not too bad, I suppose. So there you go, better than some missiles are, but some people like the missiles, some people don't. Um, I've never been really too keen on them either, really. Um, they're a lot of fun just to fire off now and again, but never to use when I was playing with them as a kid or anything, so... Um, yeah, so I think I'm in the, in the camp fully where I'd rather have some sort of other feature on the toy rather than a dodgy spring-loaded missile, to be honest. Um, yeah, so anyway, right, this is his jet mode, which we've all seen. Right now, we're going to take him to robot mode very, very quickly, which is quite easy, really. Um, we are going to start by... <clears throat> now then, we he's got a little peg and um, hole on his, which is going to become his leg. We just separate that like that. And we just flip this all the way down like that. Now then we take this gun, flip it, oh, that isn't supposed to come off when you transform it, but as I knew it would, it would come off while I'm doing it on the camera. And there we go, it just fits straight back on. Now then, oh, that's why I flipped around all the way. There we go, it comes around this side, like that. And we're going to flip his foot all the way around. And then his foot, or his little toes even, what you want to call it, they will click all the way around. Then we do the same on this side. To be honest, I'm going to flip the around first, like that. Then we disconnect it here, and this comes down. And then at the groin, he will click into place, like that. Then we will just move it out slightly. We're going to flip his leg round, flip this round, like that. Put his legs down straight, and then we flip these little hip sides up into place. And now that is him almost done, in fact. Now then, all we do now is, which this is the back, of course. We're going to take these sections, uh, these wing sections like that. We're just going to flip these down on both sides. 
<clears throat> then we take the cockpit section and we're going to flip that down like that into place. Now then, we're going to turn him around. These sections, oh no, sorry, I forgot to fold his arms out. Here we go, his arms just flip out like that and down. And on this side as well, right, here we go. And then these sections just fold all the way around like that. And now then, they are supposed to clip into place, but they don't do it too well. But it just takes a little bit of practice to get them in. Now then, I just like to separate the legs there to give them a little bit of uh, ease enough to hold him. Now then, his head, I do like his head on this one because it's in two halves. There we go, you get flip one half and then the other half out like that. And then we just clip them together like that to form his robot head. Now then, he's pretty good. Now, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but he's got near enough a split all the way down the middle, which I'm going to come to in a moment. Now then, this is his robot mode. Just going to take it back there so you can see it. There we go. And then we'll round to the back. He's not too bad in this mode. He's not got a lot of kibble or whatever you would call it from his jet mode. Unfortunately, his lack of articulation is really, really bad because his arms will only bend at the elbow and only to that far because it just won't move anymore. Um, and they will just go to there. You can't move him at the shoulders. You can't even move his legs apart from like that. Um, so he's quite G1-esque, which is pretty cool <laughs> in that respect. Anyway, other features in this mode, you can flip out these little five move his arms up, grab his leg, you can flip these guns around onto his knees, like that, to give him some pretty cool knee pads. Yeah, there you go. And of course the missiles will fire. I don't really like that at all, really, because I think he looks a bit shit. Anyway, right, there we go. Now then. I think this guy was supposed to be some sort of homage to Star Saber from the Japanese Master Force. Is it Master Force? Uh, yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Victory, maybe. I can never remember. Offhand. I think it's Victory, isn't it? Yeah, Star Saber from Victory. Um, of course, because you've got the like, thing there and everything. The shoulder pad things looking a bit like Star Saber. So, yeah. So, he's not a bad figure, just no articulation. And now then, I'm going to come to why this guy has no articulation. Here we go. Now then, if we look at the box, because of with all Energon figures, and um, the Japanese series is actually called Super Link, which kind of gives it away, because uh, only all the figures combined with every other figure in some way. So right, where are we going to go? We're going to go onto the side of the box here. Now then, because this guy can combine with Energon Optimus Prime, just the main body, not the rest of him. Now then, there we go. And this is him in his, one of his combined modes. He does separate and become more like the arms and the legs and stuff like that. So it's kind of like why he's got a crap robot mode in there. It's because it was a compromise to get him to do all this stuff. And not just that, but if you come up, he separates in different ways. And so what were the arms can become the legs again on Optimus Prime and vice versa with the arms now. Well, sorry, the legs, which were become the arms again. So you could swap them about like to no end and stuff like that and probably swap them about even more. But that is why he's got such a naff robot mode. But saying that, I do like it. It looks quite nice on display, um, to be honest. Um, I quite like it. I can't remember the storyline in the thing. I did watch one sort of episode with it and gave up with it, really, because oh, I just couldn't get on with Energon. Um, and to be honest, I haven't really watched any Transformers series um, pretty much since Beast Wars, really. Or Beast Machines, even, actually. Yeah, ever since the Beast Machines finished. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I want to start watching Animated, actually, because um, I've been getting some of the figures and quite liked one or two of them. And I've watched a few of the uh, episode clips on YouTube. And, um, yeah, I'm sort of quite liking it. But, I don't know, I might watch it, see if I can ever see, like, the whole series cheap on DVD. And I might try and get it like that, maybe. Because it looks quite cool, what I've seen of it. But there we go. Anyway, um, the reason why I didn't transform this guy with Optimus Prime on the camera is because I do have it. But I never got it out of the box because I never really wanted it when I got it for Christmas one year. Um, and so I've just left him in the box because I thought he looked really rather crap, to be honest with you. Anyway, that was Energon Optimus Prime, of course. Anyway, right, I'm going to wrap up this review there. I hope you liked it. This has been Energon Wing Saber. Um, looking quite hard. I love that face sculpt. He's got a pretty good one there. Anyway, this has been Grant. I'll see you all next time.